Hey, this is Randy Belka. Welcome to Technophobics Anonymous. Uh, now we're going to be looking a little bit again at Chrome, Google Chrome, and uh, how to do uh, some search tricks and tips, how to do some searching. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, back up here and take a look at Google. Uh, here we are, here we're on Google Chrome. Right, and I'm looking at a new tab. I've already showed you a little bit how to do some searching. You just put whatever name it is that you're interested in searching up in the command line. Up here in this, there's one line up here. It's used for searching. It's also used for putting in the address if you're interested in, um, uh, if you know the address that you're going to be going to out on the internet. Normally those addresses start with www.google.com or wherever it is that you're interested in going. Um, now, uh, let's, let's go ahead and type in www.google.com and push it. Now, this is Google's uh, home page here, right? and they have, all they have is one button or one area right in the middle for you to put in where you're going to search. Now, this is irrelevant for us because we're in uh, Google's browser and the command line up top functions as our search engine as our search line. So this is where we're going to be from here on out putting our searches right in this upper line right here in order to take us where we want to go. Um, let's say I want to go on over to uh, Yahoo. All right, I can just type it in and hit enter. All right, now it will um, give you all of the different places of Yahoo down here underneath. Um, and actually uh, if you look at the results that it gave back, here I'll highlight it for you. All right, these are the first 10 results, results 1 through 10, out of, notice how many pages there are that uh, have Yahoo in their uh, page. Let's see, 230 million, so it's 2 billion, 230 million, 2 billion, 230 million pages that have ya the word Yahoo in it, and it gives you the one that is most relevant. Right? It's gone out there and searched through all those different pages, and it's going to take you to this one right here, well, which is the one that you want. You know, you're going to go to uh, Yahoo and click there, and, and you'll be over at Yahoo. Anytime you click on the button, it'll take you to that page. And now in Yahoo, there's a bunch of different um, uh, places that you can go from there. Anytime you take your uh, pointer and it changes to a finger, you can click on that and it will allow you to, it'll take you to that new page or that new section right, as it goes right on down. Um, <clears throat> it can also, uh, you can, if your finger, uh, if you have a little hand there, if I clicked on this button right here, it would play the video. All right, let's go ahead and do that and see the little video that pops up and it'll pop right up here and uh, one year and 40 seconds. Okay, so uh, I guess it's got some kind of a time lapsed uh, picture the whole year of what happens to these trees. Oh, that's kind of cool. All right, and, and when I'm using a, a video, this down here tells us how, how uh, much time has gone. This tells you how long it's going to go completely. All right, and this over here. We'll pause the video. So anytime you want to pause a video, you can click on the button. Anytime you want to replay it, you click on the little arrow, and it will continue playing. Um, so uh, it's an interesting little video that they have on the front of Yahoo right now, just showing trees over one full year. Here it is getting in the winter time. And all the leaves falling off again. Interesting. Um, okay. Um, but... Uh, this is how you can start to move around. So any one of these buttons will take you to a new page, and on each one of those pages, there'll be many new places that you can go from there. Uh, so you need to put in what it is that you're interested in searching in the command line here, and it'll take you to that page. And then, as you start poking around, you'll find more and more and more connections from those pages. This is what's called surfing the web. Um, <clears throat> uh, and you can... Uh, and there's a lot to learn out there. There's thousands, millions of computers all connected together through these different, they're called hyperlinks. All right? So uh, that's what you're doing is you're clicking on their hyperlink and it'll take you over to the new computer to take a look at it. Um, now, once you have um, been surfing for a while and you know maybe the three or four uh, primary places that you always go to, for instance, uh, um, 
we'll be teaching you in a little bit how to set up an email account at, at Gmail, which is the Google um, email. Uh, that might be a place that you go to every day to look for messages from you to you. Uh, and so basically what we would do is we would put that in one of these tabs. Next to it, maybe you'll have a, um, a calendar that tells you what's happening in the days and you go back and forth. So maybe you have an online calendar to keep track of what's happening. That might be in your next tab. The third tab might be uh, weather.com, something like that, so you can check the weather. Um, and so then what you can do is uh, here in Google, you can hop on over and go down um, to the different options. Uh, you can see what I clicked on. I'll do it again so you can see. Come over here and go down to options and you'll go to the basics. So on startup you want to open the home page or you want to restore the pages that were open last or you want to open the following pages. Okay. Um, so what you do is you uh, click open the following pages and you click on use the current pages. All right? So what's going to happen is the next time you come back to Google Chrome uh, those pages that you've set up in there, those three primary tabs already set up, will automatically load up. And so when you won't have to spend your time going to load them up to, to uh, check them out. They'll be automatically uh, set up for you. So this is one of the ways to uh, make your uh, computer time and surfing move a little bit faster. Um, all right, I hope you've enjoyed this uh, little short introduction to surfing. Uh, we'll see you next time.